This event gathered different organizations which share the same goal, rebuilding a third Jewish temple on the Temple Mount. It's a sensitive issue during a geopolitical atmosphere of today when every small change in the status quo may lead to violence and crisis. So now we are ready to inject the DLC in B1 and B2, three bunches, per, three nominal bunches, up to 10 to the 11 protons per bunch. These bunches will be set up for injection and getting ready for run. Now that the machine is, uh, is filled, we will uh, start the energy in ramp. So we will increase the energy of the protons to 6.8 TV. Uh, for this, we will arm all the equipment. So arm means that all the equipment will be ready to receive the timing and then they will all go together to, during the ramp to bring the beam to 6.8 TV. In this phase, this phase of prepare ramp, will be setting up all the uh, systems in the LHC, from the radio frequency cavities to the magnets, the collimators. All these systems will be getting ready, synchronized, to start a ramp period together in 1,200 seconds. This ramp period of 20 minutes will be increasing the energy of the beam gradually up to a record energy uh, that have never been achieved before in any particle accelerator up to 6.8 tera electron volts. So now that we reached, we have reached this energy of 6.8 tera electron volts per beam, we will undergo the latest, the latest adjustments uh, on the beam parameters in this phase of flat top before we start the new phase called squeeze. We will now try to reduce the size of the beam. It's very important to reduce the size because the bunches are made of uh, a lot of emptiness, if you want. So the more big your beam is and the less collision rate you have. So what we want to do is to decrease the um, size of the beam and like that increase the collision rate. For this, we have a phase that is called squeeze where we'll, we will change the setting of our quadrupoles. And the quadrupoles are the magnets that we use to change the size of the beam and this size will be reduced to the minimum. So now that the beam size at the interaction points in each one of these four experiments is as small as few tens of microns as a human hair, now a very complicated process of aligning these two counteracting beams, so reducing the separation of the two beams, such as they will be encountering each other at the center of each experiment, it's a process like shooting two arrows from uh, the left side and the right side in the two beams and being able to encounter really at the precision of few micrometers level and at this moment the collisions will start to appear in each experiment. For this we have special magnet that will deviate the trajectory close to the interaction point, the experiment, so that they, can, they will be put in the middle of the experiment and collide. Uh, this dynamic phase now will last about two minutes and after it we will be starting a countdown with each one of the experiments to ensure that they are ready for data taking and it's only at that moment after their handshake that we'll be declaring stable beams. Once we have declared stable beam, it means that the experiment will switch on their detectors and finally take physics data for the first time at 6.80. It's an exciting milestone for CERN to be able now to accelerate beams to this new record energy and start data taking with this high luminosity uh, in the LHC for this uh, next few years in which we perhaps will be discovering new particles or be giving more hints on uh, new fundamental physics. So we are very excited. This is going to be uh, a journey in the unknown. We do this life allowing our children to make decisions that they're too young to make of whether they want to be a boy or a girl. I'm here to tell you today in these last days. The sustainer days of this is he that's in me than he that is in the world. I love you and I want you to know that God loves you. That you're to teach your children. That you're to love your children, nurture your children. And he will be faithful and just. And I want you to know that God can change your life. He can heal the wounds of your soul. He can break your addictions. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God. The salvation of the Lord can reach you at any moment, and death can reach you at any moment. Nobody knows when they're going to die. There is nothing more spiritual you can do than pray. I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions. Train your children up in the way that they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Your old men shall dream dreams. 
and on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy if you don't have Christ then you're dead you're dead so allow God to live in you time is running out so that you can live today is the day for salvation there's only one who knows the essence of God and that's the Son and he's the only one that can take you to the Father God can raise the dead John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. God did not create us for us to satisfy our own flesh through lust and passions and desires. God created us to give glory to Amen, bro. Because he is holy. And he said, be ye holy even as he is holy. We are not to live however we want, to be tossed to and fro by every desire of life. Repent ye therefore. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I'm telling you what's coming next. Repent ye. Destruction is coming next. And be converted. Can these dry bones live? He that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Be converted. Yes. That your sins yes. may be blotted out. <laughs> the wages of sin. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. But the gift of God. Listen to me, I'm going to tell you something. We're all going to go home. The gift of God. And my life. question to you is where are you going to live? Choose you. Either you're going to live in heaven this day, or you're going to make your home in hell. Whom ye will serve.